Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Data Pairs. Today I'm going to show you a little trick so that you can show your filter selections as part of the subtitle of your charts, either a line chart or a bar chart. Yeah, with the subtitles feature, now you can be very, very creative. And in the end, we will end up with something like this. So let's head over to my laptop and find out all the little tricks that you need to do to end up with something like what I just showed you. So come on. The first thing I'm going to do is to build my chart, right? So I'm going to build a line chart, a normal line chart, just bring uh, sales and the date. It's a very normal basic line chart. And by the way, I'm using the new on object feature or format or like on object formatting feature, which you can enable in the preview features in Power BI desktop if you want to replicate this. But again, you can have pretty much the same thing with the old formatting pane. It's kind of the same and I will be probably using the formatting pane anyway, because I don't like this new one object thing. Sorry, not sorry. So we have our, our line chart and now I want to add a subtitle to my line chart. So I'm going to go to, if you don't see this little icon here, just go to view or if you have this feature enabled. And for those of you that have the old formatting pane, congratulations, you're amazing. You don't have to go through all this mess. For those of you that have this enabled, you need to enable this formatting pane here. Uh, I mean, there are multiple ways to enable it, but yeah, this is just one of them. You have to go to view and then just click here to add the formatting or either here or in more options in the visual. What I want now is in the title, you now have an option to add the subtitle and a divider. See, a lot of options. Right now we are going to focus only on the subtitle and I'm also going to add to a couple of filters that I want to show in my chart. So I'm going to insert a couple of filters, I'm going to add here the country and copy paste because I'm lazy. And add, I don't know, the segment. What is the segment here? Oh, annoying. Okay, let's remove it. Okay, so now we have our filters, but again, what if I want this subtitle to show the filter selections automatically? So in the subtitle, if we go back to the formatting pane, you have here an option to have a function as your subtitle, which is pretty cool. And for this, what I did is I created a new measure so that I could basically get the selections that I have for these two slicers in this scenario. So I'm going to right click, create a new measure. I'm going to call this selections for country and segment. And then I I'm going to actually create two variables. One variable is going to be the country. Another variable is going to be the segment. So for the country, what you want to do is we want to calculate and inside the calculate, what we want to do is do a concatenation of that field in particular, which is the country in this case. Or, but because country has multiple fields, we want only the distinct of the country. So we don't end up with like, yeah, duplications of country. We just want the single value for each country, right? So here we have the country, financials country. And now for the expression, we just wanted to bring as the country again. And for the, div the delimiter uh, or divider, I want just a comma. And this is a very simple function. I mean, not that simple, but it's a kind of simple function. And for the segment, I'm going to do the exact same thing. And I'm probably missing here. Yeah, exactly. A parenthesis. But instead of country, I want to bring in the segment. And here, so I'm bringing in the segment and now I'm going to return my subtitle. So the subtitle is going to be something like country, which is my country selections. And then I bring in the country selections that I just calculated before. I, I'm going to put a divider between the country and the segment just because it looks better. And here I can add, or I'm going to do it differently and then add the segment. And then I'm going to bring in the segment that I calculated before. So this is going to be my final uh, DAX measure to bring in this subtitle automatically based on whatever selection we have. 
So in this case, instead of having this normal subtitle, let's go back here and bring in our function, our new function. So in this case, selections for country and segment. So now if you click, you can see there is a little thing here, like it's, yeah, it's hiding half of the thing, not half of the things, but a few uh, of the segments. And one remark that I want to say is, of course, if you have like thousands of selections, don't do this. This will only look nice and will be actually insightful and useful if you don't have that many selections like to show here. Otherwise, if you have like 20 selections, this will look horrible. So don't do that. You have a like five or 10 max. It's kind of okay. More than that, I would probably not do this. But how do we actually solve this thing here? So you have here an option for uh, the text wrap, text wrap. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to enable it so it goes like to a different line and you show and it shows like the entire text. And now, if I do my selections, as you can see, it's working perfectly fine, which is exactly what I wanted. And I can have two selections and it recognizes exactly what I have here. You can do this with dates. You can do this like with any field that you want and it will look amazing as long as you don't put a hundred different options here. <laughs> and let's just format this a little bit so it looks a little bit nicer. So I'm going to change the title and because I'm using this on object uh, formatting, I can change it here and I'm going to change this slightly like the divider. I don't like like lines with like very dark colors. So a slightly lighter color should be okay. And also increase the spacing. Of course, remove this title here, useless this title useless. We can even have some markers if you want. You can change the markers, make it them slightly bigger. I'm just going probably to change this title to something nicer. I really love this like font title. It's like light and looks always so good. So this is how you add the selections that you have in your filters and the subtitle for your charts. I hope you enjoyed this video, that it was insightful. And if you like my videos, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.